So, apologize for the hair. I've been really lazy about my hair lately. But I just wanted to share with you that on Monday, I think it was, it was either Sunday or Monday, I decided to meal prep pretty much all of the food that I was going to be eating, even down to like just putting it in baggies and things. Um, and so I've been able to like kind of, oh, that's not closed all the way. I've been able to grab and go with a lot of my treats and snacks and stuff. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, it has made my life so much easier. I do crush my apples and make my protein shakes um, like the day of, just because that doesn't really stay fricker fricker fresh. I feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, and I'll same thing with my avocado wrapping. My avocado for my wicker wicker wrap. Sorry about that. Um, the banana doesn't fit. My problem is, is it doesn't fit in the bag. I don't want to carry my banana in. I'm already carrying my smoothie in. I'm not going to carry my banana. Everyone make room for the banana. The banana will fit without getting squished. My avocado is fighting with my banana. But anyway, I decided to vlog this just because I was like, this has become really helpful. And although, yes, it did take me like an hour to do and prepare and plan everything. I basically planned what I was going to eat on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, and then did it Sunday, Monday. Um, so, but... Anyway, supposedly they are going to have the concrete fixed by Frozen by um, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, supposedly is when they said they were going to try and have it fixed. Honestly, it's crazy how we have everything set up, but it works. The only really drama has been strollers, just because since we parked them up, park them on the exit side um that part's been easy the hard part has been convincing people to park them or bring them in um specifically when it rains because people for example have started parking them because we have several stroller parking um spots just because frozen is such a huge theater we don't have room for everyone in one single spot um which somehow we've been able to make it work a fast pass so but they've started parking them closer towards the stage for Frozen. And um, it's hard to kind of like get their attention when we have to still stay in our spot. So, for example, when it rained, a lot of people parked their strollers over there. And I did my very best to get them to kind of flag them down and say, hey, you can bring your stroller in. Dumped my pin bag everywhere. I hate it when that happens. I don't have time for this. Um, but I wasn't able to get everybody, and like, I it was raining. I didn't want to be like, you know, oh, you can take your stroller in and go running back and get it, you know, after they literally just parked it. So I didn't, and lo and behold, when the show ended, they were like, hey. Where's our stroller? And we're like, if you parked it on the other side, then it's still there. And they're like, okay, well, can we go through the building to get it? And I'm like, no, we're currently loading for the next show. You cannot go through the building and get it. You parked it over there, so therefore you have to go around and go get it. And they're like, wah, 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 wah. But here's the thing. I know we are not the only attraction that has you park your stroller at one end and you exit out somewhere else. I know for a fact. Because there have been times, I'm going to need you today, when we went into an attraction, we parked our stroller on one side, went into attraction and exited, oh my shoes are still wet, <laughs> exited out on the other, and we had to walk all the way around to go get whatever. So, mind you, it wasn't that long of a distance, but it's like, hey guys, I'm sorry. It's either that, or we move all of the strollers, whether they're for Frozen or not, and then they get upset that we moved them over there. So anyway, you look at it, someone's going to be upset. We can't make everyone happy. It's just for one week. It's insanity. 
it'll be good for everyone. I'm sorry. It's just like the whole no fast passes for Toy Story thing. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules of just work here. So, obviously, just got out of the shower. Um, today was not a good day, but, like, unlike last week, last week wasn't good just because, like, emotionally I wasn't feeling good. Like, I just was, like, feeling really down. And, like, physically I also wasn't feeling good. Today, literally, like, today actually was not that bad of a day. Literally just the last two hours of my shift just absolutely just sucked. They were horrible. Um, mostly it was because, like, one specific show load I was, like, yelled at by, like, three different, um, families. Um, one didn't want, want to move all the way down. The other was upset that I didn't make everyone else move all the way down to the end. And then the other one was running late and upset that they couldn't all have their families sit together. And they also thought, didn't know the show had started, which wasn't my fault. Um... But, um, and it didn't matter that, and then I got rotated to Fast Pass, in which I had people get upset at me that the show was full, and that it was raining, and they couldn't go in, and that they didn't know where their stroller was. Um, Jared just texted me. Um, but anyway, Jared's off at Disney Springs getting us dinner, um, because I came home, and I was like, babe, you're gonna have to order something, because I can't make dinner. I just Sorry, Jared called me. Um, don't even remember where I was in that conversation, but, um, yeah, the day is just, like, it was just a lot in a short time span, and I've been trying so hard to be super courteous and just helpful in any way I can, just because, like, everyone's in an uncomfortable situation because it's been raining and things have been canceled, and then we're blocked off, so they, like, can't go this way or that way, and so I've been trying very hard to help out literally in every single situation going and doing whatever I possibly can, and it just, I just felt betrayed and heartbroken. That's, like, the best description I can come up with, because I felt betrayed in the sense of, like, I did everything I could to help to do whatever I possibly could have to go above and beyond, and I still felt like I got slapped in the face, and that said, I was heartbroken because I felt like I wasn't good enough. And so, and I know, like, realistically, like, I would, you know, walk away from the situations and I'd be like, they're just upset, you did everything you could, there was, or there was nothing you could do. Like, the family that wanted me to get the entire theater to move all the way down just so that way no one would walk over their son, which this was towards the end of the load and they totally could have gotten up and moved at any one point in time or clearly could have seen that we stopped everyone in the middle. But again, there was nothing I can do in that situation to make them happy. So it wasn't my fault. And I know we're not supposed to take things personally, but it, it just, it just hit me at the right time and it just broke me. And so I'm going to fold some clothes cause I want to get something done and feel productive. Jared is on his way back home from Disney Springs. And, yeah, we're planning on going to, we were just talking about planning on going to Volcano Bay on Monday. But it's supposed to rain, 80% chance rain, every single day for the entire week. So, we're going to plan on going. And if it ends up being rainy like it was when we went to Universal uh, this past Monday, then we'll just plan on, um, like, going to the mall, because Jared wants to go get more pop figures, and I've been wanting to go to the Disney store and Bath and Body Works for a while now, so we'll probably go and do that. That way I haven't been to the mall in a while, and I like just kind of wandering around in the mall, seeing what the new stuff's over there, because I don't, we don't go very often, so... Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys had a much, much much better Thursday than I did. Tomorrow I have a six hour shift so I will get to go home early and have a nice relaxing afternoon hopefully and then the day after is my Friday. My week is almost over. I almost made it through the first five day 38 hour work week I've had in a very very long time. So I am proud of myself that I've made it this far and I've actually done very well because it's been really hard on the cast the last couple of days. Um, it's amazing what blocking up one walkway can cause so much 
chaos and problems and that I've been really good about being an encouraging leader and helping the cast not lose it and today it was just my turn to lose it so hopefully the next two days will be better and I'll see you guys tomorrow don't forget to hit subscribe good night